The weather doesn't stop us from buying cards. We left warm and sunny Florida in 90 degrees to come to Minnesota where it's currently snowing so that we could buy cards for these upcoming almanacs. I even hear there's a special almanac with a guest breaker flying in from across the country. Now it's time to hit the show, 100,000 square feet, 450 plus tables. I can't wait to see what we find. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, Silver Auto. Brianna. Juju. Wow. First deal done at the Minnesota Card Show. We were able to come to Kyle's table. We found a lot of different things from F1, football, hockey, basketball, basically you name it, we found it at this booth. Really excited about our first deal of the day. Hey guys, I'm BDRR Sports Cards and this is my favorite pickup from the Minnesota Card Show. You see a Wilt Chamberlain Auto, you just gotta go home with it. This is pretty awesome. How many of those are out there? Give me a look on Instagram or any car, any major card show, BDR or sports cards. Oh, that's cool. All right, put me some numbers here. Like, what, is, what does this stuff go for? Relax, whatever else. Okay. I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy that. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think it's the, I think it's the, I think it's the layup. Oh, how about a gold that sold two thousand? I literally comped everything and did 87%. Okay. I know what everyone in the car is comp. What do you have that at? 300 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. That does 100. You did 150. No. The last three sales are 118, 110, and 108. Trust the verify. You don't know? Your, uh, your search, sir, is missing the 106 that's most recent. I put, I'll put with 151, 150 PFA pie. I'm just telling you, your search is missing the most recent sale, which is April 14th for 106. Okay. So the only sale of that was a thousand, but three and a half years ago, and there's multiple out of five patch autos that have sold in the five to 525 range. It's hard, it's hard cause it's immortal sense, I, I like that card. No, you're fine. I valued it on where other game used patch autos out of okay. five sold. I get that, that I understand that. But I thought three was good on that. Anybody it so up. I guess my numbers was off because I was at like a thousand on this, and you va I, in my head I thought you were valuing that at five because I was at a thousand on that. So yeah, if you were valuing that at three, so here you were at three, four. So we're at twenty-seven, three, one, four. I think I offered you 39 to begin yeah, with. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, we yeah. did again, we spent what 15 minutes just now for a hundred dollars. Uh, All right, y'all. It would not be a big time card show without being able to wheel and deal and grind out a deal with Terrence. Of course, while we're trying to work our one deal, he's working six or seven deals with different people as they're walking up to the table. However, we got this nice stack of cards from Terrence and we're able to walk away happy. Thank you, Terrence. I, 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 literally, I literally bought that card. We are building Star Wars Almanac for May 4th. We were able to work a deal with a familiar face, Cade from Dream Sports Cards. Worked a deal on this dual auto with 
the 10 auto grade, which is very rare and hard to find. Appreciate you, Cade. Looking forward to many more deals. Thanks. 5,300. So at the Minnesota Card Show, and somebody told me a very famous card place was hunting down copious amounts of Star Wars, and I had some Star Wars. One to be exact, I've been trying to move for a little bit. Some people have seen it on the Twitters. Yoda Red, and uh, thankfully I found them after arduous journeys throughout this massive card show. And uh, he took all my Star Wars. Holy Make sure you check out Pauly Donuts on Twitter. We were able to lock down this deal on five Star Wars slabs. We're getting that much closer to finishing Star Wars Almanac. All right, y'all, we have been on a mission at the Minnesota Card Show. We needed to find Star Wars cards. Chris Jones has been our hero at this show. We found sketches and autos, and I can't wait for y'all to see what we found in this upcoming almanac. Oh, I didn't bring it with today. I, I could bring some tomorrow. bring it tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll look to see what I've got for tomorrow. We're on a mission, y'all. Star Wars at the Minnesota Card Show. Y'all, building relationships in this industry is the biggest aspect of being successful. Thanks to being friends with KC, we were able to go behind the table and look at their behind the table stock of vintage cards. Let's see what we're able to find and what type of deal we're able to work out. Sometimes you even find some say hey sweet cigs. Yeah, see this one's been all that this is so hard about vintage. This is traded as low as 168 yeah. and as high as 300. Right. Like for a three, that's a damn nice three. Yep. I mean, color, it's got that soft corner there. I'd be on that one, like, I'd do 200 bucks. On 200 that. on that one? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Willie Mays, oldest living Hall of Famer. Still living in San Francisco, too. There we go. That's fun. See that? You never know what you're going to learn while working a deal. Orlando Cepeda lives there, too, and, and uh, Cepeda's in a nursing home there. Okay. Yeah, and they, they're buddies. That's awesome. That's so cool. What is that, six and As we have in Orlando Cepeda, literally <laughs> right, right next to it. All right, so I would be at 4,300 for the whole stack after taking the Cepeda out. And we were at 45 for yep. the whole stack. Yep. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. I've been doing a lot more content lately. Thank you. He was awesome at WrestleMania. He's always used a little different when I talk to him. I talk to him. It's like a 400. Hey, here with Lane. Uh, bought some really cool cards from us today. Lane and I have been doing business for a long time. Cool Chewbacca here. Oh my god, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, can't go wrong with an Undertaker PSA 10. Nice little Tatum Optic. Jordan inserts are always good. Really cool Larry Bird, Bill Fitch on card. 
Curry Auto, Deer and Fox Rookie Auto. Appreciate it, Lane. Y'all, Jason sets up at pretty much every show throughout the country. Make sure you check out his unique selection of stuff, and I'm sure you'll find him at a show. Thank you. Sports Card Machines, Facebook, Instagram, eBay, all, and just about every show. Did you buy that Merino? Yeah. That's a band, isn't it? Sorry. No, I don't know. <laughs> Taken from your collection. What's up, y'all? We are here with Chai Town Sports Cards, KC. We've known each other for many years. It's our first deal in a while. Had to pick up this disgusting Dan Marino Letterman booklet from Flawless. And then, hometown boy, can't go wrong with Paolo Bancaro, Duke Auto from, uh, from Draft Picks Choice, numbered out of eight. Appreciate you, KC. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all, so it's Saturday morning, and I just got sprung a brand new mission. Thursday night is the NFL Draft, so we're gonna launch a surprise almanac mixer for Thursday night, so the rest of the day today, we're looking for football cards to cover all 32 teams so that every team is in play and y'all walk away with some fun hits. And on Thursday. What's up like that? Well, those are those are disgusting. Oh, I picked this up. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, oh, there's a whole line. I'll be at like 200. Words. Oh my God, do you need four? Let me just I mark think these so uh, that we remember. Yeah. 30, 300, and 200. Comes to 2230. That's right. All right, y'all, we're on a mission to find football cards. I saw Gerald standing in the aisle. I said, hey, do you have any football cards in this price range? He said, let's go check out my stuff. A few minutes later, we did a deal. If you're ever looking for high-end basketball, football, hit up Gerald, Windy City Sports Cards. He's the man. Check me out. Thank you, my man. For sure. Yeah. I don't know. Be here, which is cool. His flight's actually probably just landing right now. I was gonna go get him, but do you see anything on it? Really? No. It's pop two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro. Four twenty. Yep. Thanks, bro. What's up, y'all? We're here with DK Card Seven, one What's of the up, best everybody? shops in Minnesota. If you're looking for singles, if you're looking for a good time, make sure you go check out their shop. Oh, appreciate it, Lane. Yep. Trading, buying, selling, whatever. Grading as well. So. I didn't know some people are saying actually. <laughs> That's why we double check math. That's I'll call that a win right out of the gates. All right, y'all. We are here with Ryan at the Real Sports Cards booth. If you are at the Minnesota Card Show, or if you're in Minnesota, make sure that you check out their shop. It's about 30 minutes away from the show. They have everything from Jordan inserts to random Poisson Bowman Chrome autos. If you're looking for literally anything, make sure you stop by their booth. Y'all, Minnesota was just what we expected. A massive show, dealers everywhere, cards galore. We were able to fill two Zion cases to bring back, build some almanacs. I'm excited for you guys to see all the different surprises that we found 
while we're in this snowy weekend trip. Oh, that's it.